Imagine a world where babies are born and instantly bonded as a slave, burdened with their share of 800 years worth of ancestral debt. Imagine a world where the mother who signs the birth certificate is called an informant. A world where the mother does not know she needs to go to the hospital to claim the paperwork for her infant. This bond was sold to the central bank of the nation the baby was born in, depriving the baby of ownership of its own body and being condemned to perpetual servitude as a person, a slave of Rome. Imagine a world where the birth certificate for this baby is issued by the Department of Commerce, which seizes upon the baby's given name against the interests of the state where the baby was born, and uses this given name to create a person which is not born, but is birthed. Imagine a world where the birth of this person is declared civilly dead, and the baby's name and estate are deemed granted to the British Crown. Imagine a world where this baby is being lorded over physically, legally, financially, and even morally, where the controllers see this being as just dispensable cattle. This is not an imaginary world. This is the very real world of our 21st century. This unholy and clandestine system results in your enslavement and occurs worldwide wherever the banks and bar associations are tolerated. So what exactly is this civilization we're all forced into upon birth? It is but a prison disguised as a matrix of control systems by which our lives are inevitably, completely and blindly led. The legal system, the banking system, the education system, the medical system all ruled over by the omniscient state. Bonds are debts, they are promises to pay. Your work and your labor, and even your body, has been pledged so that they could borrow virtually unlimited credit in your name. And so they have. Just like an identity thief, they have used your name and borrowed assets from you using your labor, your land, your homes, and your business as collateral. They have claimed that your mother gave you up knowingly and voluntarily as a baby and left you a ward of the state. Later, when you came of age, you did nothing to free yourself of this despicable presumption because of course you were never told anything about this and neither was your mother. So the bonders presumed again that you were incompetent and should remain a ward of the state, even as an adult, because no sane man would tolerate surviving on whatever crumbs the criminals choose to give him as a beneficiary of the PCT. These criminals have borrowed vast sums of money against you and your public and private assets, used the borrowed money to benefit themselves and their cronies, pushed the credit cards as far as they would go, then bowed out and sought bankruptcy protection for themselves, while leaving you named as the secondary responsible for paying back all that money they borrowed and gave away or squandered or reinvested for their own benefit. You see, they claimed to represent you like any flim-flam man. They offered you registration as proof. They claim to own you. Realize that this thing that appears to be your government is not your government. It is a corporation, a governmental services corporation, run by corrupt banks having no more granted authority than J.C. Penney or Sears to run your life, extract your labor, make false claims against your property, harass you, debt you or make demands upon you based on statutory military law of the sea or UCC.